be torn apart today that you have you are crying because of that beautiful gift that was taken away from you and in the month of Ramadan there were many many virtues many reasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed about his ummah about the, the, the his creations to fast Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah al-Baqarah clearly stated that ya ayyuhalladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun O oh, you who believe fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed upon the people and the nations before you for one very simple reason that we have to pay attention to لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ so you may attain taqwa taqwa could be translated or its meaning could be understood as having the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart the sincere fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the fear that would cause you to seek constantly to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another translation as well that is to be mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also will lead you to Jannah also will lead you to Jannah in the month of Ramadan as we all have seen subhanallah when the month started each one of us male or female old or young <coughs> subhanallah you get that extra dosage of energy that you are energized with it to the point that you started to come regularly to the masajid, to pray Isha in Jama'ah, to pray Taraweeh in Jama'ah, and only for one reason, because you sincerely believe that coming and performing this act of worship will increase your rewards with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and will draw you near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the result of that, as the result of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saving your